Hi everyone, my name is Andrea Pagliero and today I am in my natural form. I'm not wearing any makeup, my hair is a bit ratty, I actually apologize and I'm in just a normal t-shirt because I've been doing homework and I've been cleaning around the house all day. Um, but I often struggle with feeling like I'm good enough and feeling like my physical appearance is good enough for the world. Um, I know that scrolling through social media is a huge thing for girls and boys all around the world to make them not feel good enough. Well, I want to discover more ways to be confident, so let's do it. One major influencer that I found actually through the American Eagle clothing brand is Ishka Lawrence. Ishka Lawrence is a airy brand model and a NIDA, which is a National Eating Disorder Association Global Brand Ambassador. Ishka Lawrence was born in the United Kingdom and she started modeling, which brought her to the United States. Ishka has been a plus size model for years now and she always expresses how it changed her life for the better. Her message to women and men all around the world is be you because you are beautiful when you're untouched. And I think that that's an amazing message. And through the things that I've been through in my life, I've taken that with me to this day. A major form of self-abuse that acts as a hidden self-love destroyer can be binge eating. According to the NIDA Association, binge eating is more common than anorexia and bulimia combined. Binge eating affects women by 3.5% and men by 2.0%. This is huge because people don't admit when they binge eat. And I think it's really important that people know that it's okay to binge eat, but you have to do it healthily. And maybe instead of eating those few cookies, taking a drink of water is right, way healthier and way more important for your mental and physical health. And you will see the differences because I've done it myself. Along with eating disorders, a really huge thing that can affect self-love is depression. According to the National Network of Depression Centers, 80% of those treated for depression show improvement within four to six weeks of starting, their, of starting their treatment. The suicide rates go down and being treated makes people live longer. Depression is something that a lot of people are affected by, big or small. Everybody has their own forms of it. Me, I was affected smaller and lighter than most people. I was treated for it, but I was able to pull myself out of it, which was very important and very impressive. It showed me that I'm a very strong person and that I can get through anything. The story of my life and why I think self-love is so important is because I didn't grow up with a strong family. Growing up, my dad was married before he married my mom, which gave me three siblings, step-siblings. My step-siblings had children that were around my age, so technically they could be my parents. Um, my family did not act as a normal family. I was not allowed, if you want to say, to see my mom's side of the family. It was just always my dad's side. My dad's side of the family was very big, so as a child this was okay for me. I had a lot going on. We were all involved in sports. Since my parents were grandma and grandpa, everybody was always at my house, which since being an only child, it made me feel welcomed and it made me feel accepted and always busy. And it kind of distracted me from what was really going on behind the scenes. As I got older and got into high school, I realized that nobody's perfect and that I had troubles of my own along with my parents. Um, my father verbally abused me and my mother, so trust was a huge thing and loyalty and I had to learn how to stand and be independent on my own. Learning this at such a young age really affected my high school years and beginning college because it affected every single person that I was around. I didn't trust anyone. I didn't think I was good enough. I had disbelief on my success and how I could get there. I was never sure of my future. And this just really made me struggle as an individual and it struggled making me aware of how able and capable I am of being successful and showing me and not worrying about what I looked like or who I talked to or how I acted. For me, self-love is so important because we all have doubts, insecurities, and then occasional negative thoughts and bad habits. But speaking about the bad habits, speaking about your insecurities, explaining how you might not feel good that one day, 
but showing that you are you is the most important thing. On my journey, I did not think I would be as mentally strong as I am. I could have focused on the bad, you know, my family's divorce, verbally abused, mentally not taken care of, being depressed, being through relationships that have showed me non-loyalty and given me trust issues. But I chose to focus on the positive aspects of my life. And I think people like Ishka Lawrence, who do TED Talks, and other people who do TED Talks, which I love TED Talks, are very important. And I think that everyone should look up some statistics about depression, eating disorders, and mental health and get involved and speak about it and just be you.